it's Layla here welcome welcome back to my channel let's talk fertility today I bring to you the Enido fertility monitor this is the Enido fertility monitor that was sent to me by Enido thank you so much for partnering with me and sending me this amazing device in order for me to try it out and give you my honest review this fertility monitor can help you track your progesterone your lh your fsh as well as your estrogen in order to be able to help you predict your ovulation let's take a look at what comes in the fertility monitor kit inside your fertility monitor kit you will find the battery replacement guide and then there's also a user guide how to use the fertility monitor and um, how to actually connect it to your phone a little white cloth to white wipe your monitor and the Enido itself this is the Enido fertility monitor right there is where you would put the testing strip in order to be able to use your Enido when you put the patches online you have to be able to tell them what kind of phone do you use because all these devices are actually designed per specific phone the reason i say this this one is for the iphone 13 pro max i use an iphone 13 pro max so in order to be able to use the enido you have to be able to make sure that the device fits in your phone correctly like this that is why you have to make sure that you put the correct phone type that you have for this device to fully properly fit in to your phone. In order to use your fertility monitor, you have to collect your urine into the cup and then you have to dip the test strip in the urine for 15 seconds. Attach the monitor to your phone insert the test strip into the monitor and watch the magic happen after this has collected all your information you will get your personalized results from the app on your phone these are my home chats that i'm sharing with you if you can see you'll see that i had those high fertility days on day 19 to the um, the 24th i do think that i missed my fertility pick i didn't get those because i wasn't really checking all the time all the time i was only testing for once a day but there is a difference between my fsh it was so high with my pdg those numbers were really really high for me which is actually out of my norm if you ever wanted to connect with other women that are also using a needle and are also Comparing their chats online, I do recommend the Enido page on Facebook. Some of you know that I recently just had a baby and I was exclusively breast pumping to feed the baby. And breastfeeding, breast pumping can actually mess up with your hormones, whether you have PCOS or you don't. And this was an amazing tool for me at that time because my hormones were messed up and I was able to use the Enido fertility monitor to help me prevent pregnancy. You can use the Enido monitor to track your hormones to predict ovulation. You can use it like me to actually avoid being pregnant. This is an awesome device for people like me that have PCOS because of our hormonal imbalance. This is awesome for people with diabetes, people with thyroid issues to be able to track your estrogen, your FSH, your LH, all in one stick is amazing. At the comfort of your home, with your cell phone, the technology is amazing. One of the tips I have for the Enido is that it didn't work for me for the morning urine. They actually encourage you to test the same day, every day. It didn't work for me in the morning. I do wake up around five in the morning and that didn't work for me because sometimes I'm sleeping or uh, the urine wasn't really giving me accurate information, uh, just telling me nothing happening, you know? And it was very difficult in the beginning to understand how this actually works. So I decided to switch 
their testing into like later in the morning it was still in the morning but like nine o'clock so i would go to the bathroom between five and nine or i would actually just avoid going until i go at nine sometimes and that seemed to help me that seemed to give me more information and more better results if i may say so so my tip to you is sometimes the urine in the morning might not work find the time that works best for you and use it like that in order for you to not be wasting the testing strips because they are not that cheap what is it that i didn't like about the enero i loved everything i think it's awesome awesome technology awesome tool for people like me people that are trying to conceive whether you have pcos whether you don't have pcos you're trying to get pregnant you're trying to prevent pregnancy it doesn't matter it is awesome i cannot wait to see what else they integrate what else can they add into this to make it even better you can save a lot of money by going to fertility doctors by using this tool or you can use it in conjunction you know you can use this and be able to give some information to your doctor about what you are getting results and information that you are getting from there it's amazing for me i didn't know actually that i can reach high fertility numbers like that i didn't know that i just was told that i don't reach that i don't ovulate on my own i always need help yes i've had to use fertility treatment to get pregnant with my babies but i've been using the enero and to be able to look at my phone while i was testing with this and it's giving me those results that hey you're actually high peak right now that was awesome for me to see that it was amazing um i know that my body is not broken actually i am capable of ovulating on my own i just need to know how to track it and devices like this are actually such a blessing because i would have never known that i actually i am capable of being of ovulating by myself so i was watching those numbers i was excited to see that but i was also using it as a protection measure when i saw that i was getting really high there with those high fertility days i was avoiding things that need to be done in order to get pregnant so it was helpful for me and i'm so grateful for that one of the things that i don't care so much about the tool is it takes 15 minutes to read your results and measure everything before it gives you the results it takes 15 minutes for the window um that is not a very long time 15 minutes is like you know however you cannot use your phone while it's doing that that's the only downfall i've used other devices where it took the same around the same time if not less but you were able to use your phone while it's doing its thing because you're still going to get that information on the app with the enedo you cannot close the window while it's reading and it's doing this measure so that's the only thing that i think maybe they can work on that but other than that it's an amazing tool if you can get it grab it thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe i will see you in the next video bye